Hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning back in. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming, and today my voice is cracking like an 11 year old hitting puberty. So there is that, all right? Um, I don't know what's going on with it, but moving along, this is a really, really, really fun build. And my third take, because my voice has been so bad, it makes, it's making me laugh myself. All right. Um, really cool. I took out Blood for Bones, though. You guys know how, like, you, whenever you build a deck for the first time, you know, you're, you're, you're just, you start making tweaks. You know, you play a game, you make some tweaks, you play another game, make some tweaks. That's kind of what happened here with this build. Um, and I was running two copies of Blood for Bones in the main. This is a complete OG build. I threw it together earlier today. But Blood for Bones, after about, like, four four matches, I think I decided to remove it from the build because I just wasn't getting much out of it. I thought I would, but it just wasn't happening. So you will see some matches with Blood for Bones. But let's break into the deck. We got three Knight of the Ebon Legion. I That's what I added. I added an additional. I was only running two. I threw in one more Knight of the Ebon Legion and one more Murderous Rider into this build. This card, you're going to see Knight of the Ebon Legion single-handedly win an entire match. It's that cool. Like I, I was so, I was so proud of it. Like I could have kissed this knight right here. I swear, get that vampire blood all over me. I'd be cool with that. Uh, it, it was amazing. You'll see it in this video. Really cool. Uh, Shadow Spear, also uh, just a powerhouse. Permit you. Um, I'm sorry. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one and has trample and life link. That's all we really care about. That's very, very awesome sauce, and it's gonna go well with some other stuff here. Paradise Druid. We do have four copies. Uh, just for mana ramp, discovery, we can only use discovery side, can't use dispersal, we're not running anything blue, no islands, but surveil two, then draw two cards, it helps to get to Polychronus Unchained, because we're going to be escaping with Polychronus, and you're going to see us win a match, because we make him a 12-12 demon from hell, and it's really cool. Then we have two find finalities, we end up using both sides of this, we really do, um, returning the two creatures is really neat. And also putting two plus one plus one counters on a creature we control is awesome when we minus four, minus four, the board, we'll see. Ya. That goes a long way. Then we have Murderous Rider. Three of these for the removal, of course, and it's cool. It comes on as a creature afterwards. Rotting Regisaur. Who needs an Embercleave when you have Shadow Spear with Regisaur? That's my argument. I'm sticking to it. As we give your upkeep, discard a card. Cool. That works really great. Also with Polychronus. So we can get to escape, make it a 12-12 beast mode with Trample from Shadow Spear. Um, and also, not only that, but it goes well with Great Henge for the card draw. And so does Polychronus. By turn three, turn four, you know, you, you can just pay three um, and get out your uh, your Great Henge when you have uh, Polychronus. When, um, when you have the Great... Uh, I'm sorry. When you have uh, Rotting Regisaur... You pay two. It's just, it's really, really awesome to just ramp up really quick into the Great Hand. You just get a lot of card draw, a lot of value. You're going to see. Nightmare Shepherd, how annoying. We can just bring back our Polonchronus with a bunch of plus one, plus one counters on it. Because when there's a battlefield, it comes in with six plus one, plus one counters on it. So when it dies, Nightmare Shepherd, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. It's great synergy right there. Plus, if we want to sacrifice something with our Cavalier of Night, and we have out our Nightmare Shepherd, we can sacrifice our Knight of the Abbot Legion, or you're just whatever the case, whatever it is we want to sack, we can just take it out. Paradise Druid usually is the go-to target, and then it comes back, and we still have the Paradise Druid. It can still ramp us. Really good sack for that. Uh, Polonchronus Unchained. This is a newer card here, same with Nightmare Shepherd. Uh, really fun. Enters the battlefield with six plus one plus one counters on it. Escapes with 12. You're going to see us use that beast mode style. If damage would be dealt to Polonchronus, uh, you basically re remove that many plus one plus one counters. And then for three, it can fight another target creature. There was a case where I, I forgot this was even a thing on the card. Um, uh, so many magic cards, so many abilities. Now, I, I, it's a stupid mistake. I know. I noobed it up there. Uh, but I forgot about that during one of the matches. Um, anyway, moving along. Really cool card. You're going to see a lot of fun with this. Cavalier of Night, another really sweet with the lifelink. And we can take out a creature. And also, we can bring back a creature from our graveyard, three or less. Guess who that's going to be nine times out of ten? That's right, Rotting Register will come right back. Now we have the Great Henge, uh, some swamps, some forests, Overgrown Tomb, Temple of Milady, Fabled Passage. And let's not forget our sideboard. We are running two Legends, Legion's End, three Noxious Grasp, two Elder Spells. That's what it came in handy in one of the matches. Ooh, Planeswalker to death. Destiny Spinner, so uh, Blue can go eat it. Cry of the Carnarium, so aggro going wide builds can eat it. Shifting Ceratops, so again, control can really eat it. 
I hate going up against blue. And this we're going to see a lot of Simic. I think I fought Simic two or three times. You guys will see what happens here. Uh, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy this video. Stick around. There it Own is. It. Finally ready to go. All right. The Toba Fire. Toba, Toba Filler. What's a Toby Filler? Where'd you get those cool lands from? I want some cool lands. Where'd you get those lands, man? Where, oh, where'd you get those lands? Yeah, I definitely want those lands now. <laughs> I gotta figure out where you get them at. Mmm, goodbye, Shepherds. Exile, which makes it all the more worse. Couldn't bring it back if we tried. Alright, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we just start going in with this dude. Pump it up. And she ain't blocking. I mean, just keep making my dude bigger, I guess. Knight of Ebon Legion can single-handedly win you an entire game. Uh, it's happened numerous times. Not to say it's going to happen now, but I've seen it way too many times. So he's probably going to want to take that out. It's, yeah. it's just too big of a threat. That's pretty cool where he just drew that. Um, I don't need to sack nothing. I'm just going to let it fly out. Gutter bones can just come back again and again and again, so it's not like we're getting a lot of value there. I'm losing ramp for that is just silly. Bigger shepherd. Interesting, 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 interesting. Now, I could get crazy if he doesn't have an answer here. We find him finality, man. Um, that actually would be pretty sick. He will get one back. Um, he gets gutter bones, I guess, to come back as a 1-1. One, one. That is something. Alright. Down to 11. Now we got 6-7. We got Shadow Spirit ready to do some stuff. No removal. Oh, I don't think he's got it. Oh, this is going to be brutal sauce. Pretty sweet. Liking it, baby. Just equip that sucker. Dirty. That's a big boy. <laughs> Seven, eight, trample lifelink. Get out of here. Oof. Let's play that tap. Steamrolling, baby. Did he get removal? It's Nightmare Shepherd. It keeps him alive for a little bit. He's gonna have to double block on this. Not even giving, not even dealing lethal though with that double block. I mean, we can make him bounce too. That still wouldn't be lethal though. I guess we'll play that. Well, we can't. That's right. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> we don't have blue. <laughs> we were like, let's play the second part of that spell. No, no, you can't do that. Uh, we'll just ditch all that. There you go. Hopefully we get lucky here and not a land. All right. That works out. Uh, we will definitely, um, yeah. see ya. I mean, that's, that's close to game. Toba Thriller. He sacked it, though. That guy's a sack. Two card. Uh, we're swinging in for a heck ton. Game over. All right, GG. GG. Keepers, creepers, Mr. Weepers. Uh, get a tap land out. He's got blood on his hands. Okay. 
Paradise. It makes I, I like Paradise a lot because it makes for a turn three uh, walk run us. Oh boy, he's gonna do stuff, guys. I'm not gonna like. Oh my gosh. That's a hasty fellow. Cool story, bro, but can you deal with that? Yes, he's Rakdos. He's going to end up killing it. <laughs> if he knows how to use his deck. If not, we just go Shadow Spear. It's almost kind of silly to put it on uh, Unchained here, but... Yeah, here comes Murderous Rider. Most likely, he'll destroy Unchained. <laughs> We're guessing. Nothing! He has nothing. This guy is a loser. Oh, he's totally gonna get ran over so bad here. I feel bad for his mother. I really, really do. Um, what do I want to kill though? Like, you're both kind of cool. I guess you. It's almost kind of dumb putting it on him. Whatever. Do we want to do that or should we discover dispersal here? Or even Paradise Druid. Let's just equip it, who cares? I'll stop flapping the jaw, huh? Sweet. Blend. He's 5-5 five, five now. Take out one guy. He's probably going to ping our Unchained. That'd be the smart thing to do. And he does. We have a 4-4. Four, four. I'll just take it. I mean, that little damage ain't going to do much. Alright, he's at 20. We're at 18. Uh, almost takes that out. Almost, not quite. Murderous Rider. We're not getting what we want. Little rascals. That was just too funny there. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I do like that lineup a lot, actually. I like both y'all. You can both be my friend. Um, cannot cast Fine Finality yet, but when we can, it's going to be gorgeous. Remember, please. I say one play. Dirty, filthy boy. Cavalry of Nights. Um, we do need to get some big stuff going on here. Because we kind of just want to, like, check in here. Oops. How much is in the grave? Not enough yet. Maybe the six. Um, escape. I think it's six, right? Um. Yikes. Okay, one more. Yeah.
Maybe I should have saved it so we could just sack it this next turn, not block anything at all there. Mer, mer, mer. Man, we didn't hit our one flyer. Our one flyer, dude, is pretty legit. We could also just board wipe. And then start new next turn. I guess we'll do that. Or, no, I think it's too late. Yeah. If he doesn't drop anything here, we're doing great. Okay. Should be on the right track now. Oof, that was a close one. Came back out of the, we get, we dug ourselves out of a hole like crazy here. Oof, close game. That was a close game. We'll keep it. Got some fun little uh, no ramp or nothing, but you know we got some plays. We got some plays, guy. Could do some things, you know. I really like. I'm really liking this deck. This is a deck I I would say um, you can you can build and you'd have fun with it and all that good sauce, you know. Do I go discovery here? Probably. Shadow Spear's not doing much for us at this time. Bunch of lands. Cool. Glad we did that. See, like, just imagine getting stuck there doing nothing for two turns. That's why card draws like or like. Being able to look at stuff, just flip through cards, just card draw in general is really, really important in this game. That was three lands straight we just drew. Actually, four. I think that's four lands straight we just drew. So, imagine that. Like, we just sit there drawing one land after another land, just no value whatsoever. Just everything stinks. Not a lot of fun, fellas. Not a lot of fun. Um... He's probably got a counter, though. He's probably got a counter. I'm just going to pump it up. I'm not even going to risk dropping Shadow Spear. I mean, he might have a bounce or something for Knight. We'll see. He's got something, clearly. He flashes that. Whatever, dude. You're going to block that. Down to 15. I'm just gonna keep swinging with one dude. Dude, we can keep pumping him. This is how you, this is how you beat uh, uh, Simic Flash. You just keep doing this. I may be able to squeeze out Shadow Spear here, depending what he does next. And if I can. Oh, I can. He's not going to like that. Oh, he's not going to like that. We can equip that sucker. Oh, boy. He's not going to like that. You're about to see Simic just scoop it. Oh. Now, odds are he's going to have a bounce, though. We're probably going to see a bounce. He's going to be like, get that crap off the field, and then I'm going to cry. But he'd have to use all of his mainas to do that. In which case, we'd be able to get out our Unchained. And that's a bigger 
problem you have to deal with. We'll see how it pans out. All right, we got four. What does he do? Passes. All right, well, you already know what I'm about to do. He's probably waiting until we equip, though. To bounce. Which would really stink, because we have no play here, if he can bounce my knight. Wow. Ooh, Simic taking a beat down, maybe. <laughs> One night to rule them all. Winning with just Knight of the Ebon Legion against Simic. The ultimate in beauty. This beast. <laughs> this yeah, that was gorgeous. That's that's that was probably one of my favorite matches beating Simic like that. I mean this could work. Got Cavalier of Night, which is good. We'll see Mono Red. All right, Pony has a Shock in the end. Or a Pump Spell. Either an Infuriate or a Shock. I would imagine it's a Shock. Goes with the old Nighty, does he? Fair enough, my good sir. Now that's a scary card for uh, him to see. Because lifelink is no joke. Wow, shocks for days, huh? We start rolling out the um, the bigger creatures, you know, and that's when stuff gets ugly. He's gonna pop that phoenix on us. Hasty fellows. Gotta stabilize here, fellas. The Phoenix is uh, gonna be some bread and butter for him, though. swing in here and then just sacrifice him to take you yeah, to take out Ash. I could have had him fight him as well but then we just have a one one there and we need nothing we have nothing else going for us <clears throat> Remember, we do have blood for bones as well. So we could just bring him right back <clears throat> and get uh, our Knight of Heaven Legion. <clears throat> My voice is killing me. Now he escapes. 3-3. Three, three.
I really need to get this equipped onto you. I mean, we gotta do it. And that should let us sustain there. He can't attack with nothing. Else. Oh, he can. He'd have to take out Shepard. He might have enough. I mean, this is, I, I, it's, I'm too, ugh. it's too soon to say, guys. It's too soon to say. Oh, my God. See, that's what I was talking about, boys. That's some, that's some noodle sauce there. I think he's got it. I think that's the game. <clears throat> First strike. Yep. Uh, temple all day. Do not need you. Nice temple for temple. Paradisio. Now, if I can squeak in, ah, I probably won't be able to. Oh, we were able to. Good. that ah oh, crap we need to get damaging quick I mean honestly this is probably the best way and then I can play my paradise at the end I hope he doesn't have a sleeper because that would have been a huge mistake about the druid right there. Like, Ritual of Soot would really mess things up. <clears throat> Shepard would survive, and we get a bunch of trades. I see what this guy's life is about. I do, I do, it's true. Could go this route, Cavalier, and take that out. Not a stinking death touch around, huh? Uh, yeah. I'll stack you to take you. Remember, we do get that card back, which is cool. And then we swing. Yes. <clears throat> Very impactful, because, I mean, we still have, we just have a 1-1 one, one now, Hexproof. Got him. Ooh, baby. Loving this deck. Hmm. See how it goes. Hot pocket. It's craving a hot pocket. I still haven't gotten it yet. I, I've been craving a hot pocket. A pepperoni pizza hot pocket. And uh, I have just failed to go out to the store and pick one up. But I think I'm gonna do that here in a little bit. <laughs> Cause I like, I'm, I'm dying for one. <clears throat> mm. Hot packet, mm, so good. Uh, yeah, let's get some green up in here perhaps, huh? Oh, we already had green, whoopsie doodle. Probably need some black there. Yes, I'm a black. Well, we got it anyway, look at that one, you know. All right, let's uh, put you and, uh, yep. Go up in here. Let's see what we get. Can we get something cool? Blood for bones. Ooh. We do want that to stay around. It's kind of. A, I almost want to get rid of both of them, but I, I can't. It gets, can I put you like in the library on the bottom? Ah, oh, ah, oh, the whole party. You know, I'll get rid of it right now. That's fine. We do got fine finality, so. <clears throat> We drew a lot of lands. Good thing I got rid of another one. Holy, sm holy smothering type. What is going on here, pal? Uh, I guess another discovery. Filling up that graveyard quick, though, huh? 
Hey, my friends have arrived. I kind of want both of you just to hang out and be pals. There you go. There you go. Best friends forever. Oh, Mr. Counterboy. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what you want. What you really, really want. All right. Oh, hot dogs. He's gonna counter though. Um. Do I dare? I mean, we can because of the exile. We can bring it back. By the way, I'm sure it's gonna be counter, or not the app, not the exile, the escape. So we can We can almost escape already. Go ahead, pal. See what happens. See what happens. Ooh, he let it stick. I'm sure he's gonna blow it up. Bounce it. Well, I deal with it. <laughs> so, can you bounce that again? <clears throat> no, no, you cannot. Oh, I really want to get Nightmare Shepherd down. What a pain in the butt that'll be, huh? Great Edge will cost three. He has to go brazen. Okay. Plays it. What's his big move here? He's got control daddy issues. Smacks us. Oh, boys. If I go one, two, three. Ah, I feel like we should wait one more turn, you know? Let's just swing in here. See what he does. Maybe he'll use up all of his minas. He did. I'm pretty happy for him. Let that resolve. Good for you, pal. All right, now that being said, uh, we're going to play Henge. Try to get that off the board, tough guy. Ooh, did you? Nasty sauce. He just paid for that one. <laughs> What you got, bro? What you got? Borrower. Looking scared. He's on borrow time right now. Heck, we could even go finality and board wipe his borrow too. <laughs> so many options. If he takes out something, we get something out of it. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Uh, we should probably swing in first. Let's do that. He's gonna take something out. I'm gonna be like, that's cool. Daddy -o. Oh, he death sprouts it. Mm hmm. Alright, fair. It's a basic land out of the deal, eh? Uh. Yep. There's the damage we wanted. Oof. Card draw. Nasty on this. Oof. Oh! Bro, what are you gonna do, bro? Bro, bros, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, we didn't get what we wanted. I really wanted this other guy. Um, should I find finality here? We only got the we only got the one. Ah, uh, that's kind of silly. Let's go temple. Temple. There she blows. Oh, I wish I could have drawn that right now. All right, we'll pass the turn. So then we just equip whatever's on our spear in this game. My friend, if you can stop this brutality, you will be a man. No, you'll be a god amongst men. Yes. What do you have? Show me your beanbags. Take me to your beanbag. He, he could have a massive board wipe. Uh, maybe. But uh, ritual of soot at best, taking out his own borrower. I don't know what other wipe there would be. Well done. Let's get another land out here. Just play everything. <laughs> we'll smack another black down. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, that's going to be game. Possibly. Possibly. Um, 
Yeah, I'll just fight this. <laughs> get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. But you got a discard. Uh, we'll drop you. And uh, honestly, I can just drop my Nightmare Shepherd at this point. We can just draw it again. It doesn't really matter. Oh, what did I do there? Did I make a boo-boo? I did something weird because we were supposed to have our one card on top. All right, I don't know what I did. I made a boo-boos. I made me the booze booze. Huh? Uh, yeah, fight that. What are you gonna do, bro? You gonna adapt? Really? That's just what I'm All he did was upset us. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I thought I had one more. Ooh, not too, not too good. Um, well, I mean, at that point, let me just put you. You don't do anything, really. Unchained. I didn't think he could adapt yet. That was really stupid of me. Huh? All right, some big damage here, though. Oh, so massive, those, those blows. All right, very sloppy game, all right? Forgive me for this match. It was, it was extremely sloppy. If we pull this one through, it, it was very sloppy. But secret, my first time using this deck I put together. So shh, don't tell anyone. I'll put it at the end of the video just to mess with everyone. All right. There we go. Doing stuff. The opponent is in deep thought, letting that timer tick down. Not sure what he's going to do, or if he even has any way to deal with the threats on board. I mean, that's some massive power. There he goes, Pulse. All right, he could bounce one card. Possibly some more action. Right, he'll bounce something. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. He's at, he has to counter. No, he's not going to counter. Okay. Uh, here, I'll just put it on you, bro. There you go. That's massive. There's a 9-8 big boy. What are you going to do? I mean, he can take that one out. <laughs> he's going to have to bounce this Regisaur. Oh, he destroys it. Okay. What does this do again? Permit your opponent's control. Okay, that does nothing. Okay, he takes that out. And then he's going to bounce uh, the other Registaur. Okay. Can I equip now? No. I wish I could equip. Oh, well. And uh, we do get through for some demolition. Wowzers. Trousers. Uh, I guess, I mean... Yeah, let's go with you. And then uh, we'll equip. Who should I equip? Home Slice, probably. Yeah, he might be a little safer. <coughs> Oof. That was a grinder, first time, but that was fun. It's kind of horse crappy right there. That's a little better. I like that. Nice and pleasant. Do we keep uh, you or you? Uh, I like Nightmare Shepherd. I like Polly too, man. I like a lot of Polly. We'll keep Polly um, or Nightmare. We'll keep Nightmare. All right. Uh, no idea how this is going to pan out because it's a game. So, And these are different players from all around the world. So you never know. You just, you just never know. Does anyone not play Cinecolor crap? Like, seriously, go life, guys. Please give me a land next turn, or this is going to be painful. Please top deck land. Please top deck. We need it so bad right now to get something resolved. Nightmare, nightmare. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. That stinks. Got a huge threat out, though, but... What do do? We're going to discard everything to the Hulkamania graveyard. All right. 7-6. 
There's a big boy, though, for Simic to deal with early on. Hey, cool. I love them apples, huh? I don't like apples. Nightmare Shepherd. Can you deal with that? He's like, as a matter of fact, I can. Alright, we got you. Let's swing on in. Cool sauce. Do I really go for you again? Let's just get some card drop. Maybe we just do this. Whatever we play, he's just going to counter it. So we might as well try to position ourselves pretty good here. Um... Okay, I guess we'll go like this. Nowzers. Nothing to bring back. End of turn. Probably should have went temple. I forgot we could play the land that turn. I should have went temple. That's okay. Not a big deal. Bond of Flourishing. Main. Okay, good. This gives us an uh, advantage here. We can get some stuff out and about. Opponent. Double, okay, you could have a quench in hand or something. No, incubation. <laughs> All right, I don't know what he's about, but he's about losing, man. This is a prime card right here to drop. We really should get that out here and uh, over here, <laughs> and uh, we should definitely be able to take him, dude. Swing. We are looking really good. Um, now that we got Shadow Spear down, I feel just amazing. Because um, that's just, that's that's big. He needs a board wipe. And sorry, this color combination doesn't have it. God, I hate Simic. How do we keep playing Simic like all day long? This isn't the same guy, is it? Growth Spiral. Wow, that's totally going to be game, bro. Bro, bro, brosers. We'll go for the mur. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, oh, that's tough. Uh, that was actually kind of tough. Oh, well, he's got that back over there. All right. Equipping. Uh, and homie. Oof. Ooh, baby. Oh. Do I just take out Druid here? Probably. We'll see. Him. He's not going to like that. Opponent takes it. Well, he could tap. He could counter. That's right, but he won't. He just has a blue mana float. And we swing in. And he's at four. Opponent. Jellyfish. Yo, jellyfish. Alright, that's game. GG, my friend. GG. Skrink, skrink, skadoosh. It's too much damage. Sweetness. Alright, so yeah, there is the deck. Um, had some fun in gold, you know, whooping some booty there. Um, it did lose a little bit here and there, but overall, I mean, we won a lot more than we lost, I'll tell you that. So let's give one more look at it and see my rewards. Let's do a little cleanup together, shall we? No more mastery, though. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that stinks. Okay. 
So a quick little recap. Again, I did make that one change in the end. I removed the one card. Um, what is it? Um, return. I'll find it really quick. Um, Blood for Bones. I completely took out Blood for Bones from the deck. Um, and then I added an additional Knight of the Ebon Legion and an additional murderous rider to the build and um i i find I mean, it works better because a lot of times i was sitting there stuck not doing much with blood for bones and it, it, what do you you don't want to waste cards when you're playing a game you know so we made use uh and knight's just an amazing card as you saw it single-handedly won before uh pretty amazing sauce man yeah so there you have it guys all right let me know your thoughts on this build. Uh, if you enjoy it, if you don't, if you want to ask what the heck's wrong with my voice, I mean, it's all up to you. But, um, yeah, that's all she wrote. I think I'm just going through puberty right now, guys, and I would appreciate it if you just hit the like button, okay? Because <laughs> I thought I had a puke joint peed out of it. You gotta go. Stop.